question from Raghunath now. He owns a store that he bought in 2003. He is planning to sell it now. He bought it initially as a residential property, but got the user permission changed from the BMC to run it as a store. Now, when he sells it, does he make an agreement for sale of commercial property or for residential property? Well, since you have done a change of user, for all practical purposes now, it is a commercial property. So, you have, I, I don't think you will have an option to choose between these two. There will be a tax impact, of course. Certain benefits which are available to residential properties are not available for uh, sale of commercial properties. But having said that, if you've got it done through BMC, I think it's fairly clear that now it is a uh, commercial property. Right, and what are, what are the tax benefits? Uh, Vinay, you're also a tax expert. If you could just tell us, what are the tax benefits that he'll be losing out on over here? Well, one of the tax benefits that uh, uh, you look at is Section 54, which gives you benefits to if you're selling a residential property and buying another residential property. So obviously that would not be available to you. And quite often what happens with the commercial properties is that you are declaring that as, as, a, as a business asset and it is subjected to depreciation. For depreciable assets, different rules apply than for uh, a regular residential property. So a little more planning and a little more uh, thought is required. And I would really advise you to take professional help here if, you are going to, uh, if, if the sale is going to be that of a uh, commercial property. Right. Vikas's query next. Now he says that his father and mother jointly owned property. After his father passed away, his mother, two sisters and Vikas are the legal heirs for the part that he owns. Now Vikas and his sister wants to, want to release the claim on the property and give it to their mother. What is the procedure? How do they go about this transfer? Well, the, the right way to do this would be a release deed in favour of uh, the mother. And if you look at uh, Maharashtra, uh, you have a very low uh, stamp duty and registration fee. In all, you will spend just 1200 rupees uh, to execute these uh, release deed. So this is what I would advise you to do. If, uh, I don't know which state this is in, but even if it's in another state, I am sure that you will have uh, similar type of concessions. Okay. So that is how it is. But also tell, tell me this. Is it necessary that they take this particular step because they are the legal heirs? We are not really talking redistribution of property here. How necessary is this? This is critical because okay. as of now, all of you have a certain undivided share. And if you want to transfer the title to uh, your mother, there is virtually no option but to use one of the modes of transfer, which is either sale or the uh, release deed or a gift. Now, this uh, looking at release deeds have a special place in most stamp acts. Uh, because they are, you get a very concessional rate of stamp duty, which is the reason why I've suggested that to you. Okay, so use a release deed which is available at a concessional rate. You can watch live TV on our website mbnow.in. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash magicbricksnow. And don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at magicbricksnow. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com forward slash magicbricksnow.